Hello guys, let's see what are web services and how the web services work. Web service is a software system designed to support interoperable machine to machine interaction over a network. In simple words, we can say that web service is a framework for conversation between two computers. These computers are communicating over the web. The client sends the request over the internet. The server receives that request, process it and returns a response message. Suppose there is a browser which makes a request for a web page. It receives an HTML and other related content in response. But when it just asks for data, a web service is being used. Today's modern web services are handled over HTTP but the format of sending and receiving data differs greatly. For using a web service, we require an API that is application program interface. It defines everything that we need to communicate with the web service. Today, there are various API are available where some uses SOAP, simple object access protocol, some uses REST, re representational state transfer, some uses JSON, JavaScript object notation and others. To put a web service on a website, we request an action of HTTP verbs that is post, get, put, patch and delete. Post is used to create the resources, get is used to read the resources, put is used to modify or update the resources, patch is for small modifications in the resource and delete is used for deleting the resources. Now the web service hides behind the complex hides its complexity behind the wall of the web. Uh, the web services are not dependent on a particular language. It doesn't matter what language the server is using, whether it is PHP, ASP.NET, Java, C++ or any other language. As long as the client is able to request for a web service and the server is able to respond the request, it will work perfectly. And to make these web services independent of any particular language, XML plays a very important role. The XML is an extensible markup language. It is a tag based language just like the HTML describing information in a structured way. It plays a very important role in web services as it can store, transport, data and easily understood by humans as well as machines. SOAP is an important part of a web service. It is used to transfer the data. It support exchange of XML coded messages over a transport protocol. SOAP is a communication protocol for XML web services. SOAP is not the only way to do the web services. There are other XML based means for sending messages between systems such as REST, XML RPC and other. REST is a type of web service in which the user simply access the URL and in response a straight XML document. Next it uses a WSDL document that is web service description language it provides a standard way to describe the web service it uses xml format for describing the web services as it is in xml format it can be made available to many users next a web service uses a UDDI registry it is universal description discovery and integration it is a business registry standard for indexing web services so that their description can be located by development tools and applications. These UDDI registry are not necessary. Instead of using these UDDI registries, we can also use email attachments. Now let's overview the working of a web service. Suppose we have one server on which a web service is running and we have a client system in which a standalone application is running. Now let us consider that this client application wants to invoke some service from the server application. And for this, the client application should know what type of service the server application is providing. For this purpose, the server 
will generate a WSDL document which describes various uh, use and and format of the web service now this file is sent to the UDDI registry software which store the file in a with a unique name the client will access the WSDL file from this UDDI registry now the client will generate some classes called stubs using stub generation tool these classes will have some methods or services which the client want from the server now the stub will be converted to an XML document called SOAP request. The SOAP request needs to be sent to the server location which is moved by the HTTP protocol to the HTTP server. The HTTP server sends the SOAP request to the skeleton. Now what is this skeleton? The skeleton is a predefined class which depends on the service class. The skeleton will invoke the client request from the server application and it will get the response from the server which will be a SOAP response and it is in XML document. Now this SOAP response needs to be sent to the client application which is again sent by the HTTP protocol to the client side. Now as the SOAP response is available at the client side it will be read by the stub again and it will return some value which is given to the client application. So in this way a web service works between the client and the server. Hope you have understood something about the web services and gained some knowledge from this video. Thanks for watching.